Vermont Mercury.org works on many fronts. We work on education, so we do our best to educate the public about the dangers in mercury and ways to avoid high mercury fish and also different types of fish to select that would be lower in mercury. We also work on the advocacy level. So we lobby at the federal level and we lobby at state, city and county and even school board levels to educate policymakers about simple ways to help the public minimize their exposure to mercury. One of the things that Got Mercury is best known for is our online fish calculator, which can be found at www.gotmercury.org. And essentially what that is, is it's a free service that we provide to the public in which you can check out what, how much potential mercury could be in the different types of fish that you're eating. All of it's based on scientifically approved data, government data from the Food and Drug Administration and from the Environmental Protection Agency. And we receive about 80,000 visits a month on our calculator. So we know that mercury and seafood is an issue that people are deeply concerned about and feel that they're not getting enough accurate and concise information from, from our government. Exposure to mercury causes very serious health problems, especially to the more vulnerable populations, to women of childbearing age, which is essentially women between the ages of 18 to 45, and also to women who are pregnant, who are breastfeeding, and to young children. And mercury, when it's ingested, it can cause very serious and detrimental and irreversible health problems, such as developmental disorders. It can cause memory loss, it can cause tremors, it's been linked to Alzheimer's disease, it's been linked to Parkinson's disease, and in extreme cases can even lead to death. Now the number one source of exposure to mercury in the United States is through the consumption of seafood. Well, the majority of mercury pollution comes from coal-fired plants. And unfortunately, a lot of the world is now dependent on coal-fired plants. And even here in the United States, there are about 600 coal plants that continue to uh, push a lot of pollution into our air, which then results in the problems with mercury in our rivers and our streams and our oceans. Now, it's generally understood that the country of China tends to have the most coal-fired plants, but ironically, right now, the country of China is doing everything that it can to actually create greener methods of producing coal, but yet the United States is still lagging behind on that. GotMercury.org believes that the federal government is failing the public. They're failing to inform the public that there is a very serious problem with mercury and seafood. They are not testing the seafood that comes into the market in the United States and that's both imported and domestic sources. They actually state, the Food and Drug Administration actually stated in a recent article that was published in the New York Times that they test less than 1% of the fish that's being sold in the United States for mercury levels. So the problem is when a consumer goes to the grocery store, goes to a restaurant, and they go to purchase some swordfish or some tuna or some shark, they have absolutely no idea how much mercury is contained within those certain types of fish. Mm -hmm.